so welcome you all today we will see the revolve operation how it can be done in ansys design modeler so first of all start with the ansys workbench depending on whatever the version you are using so this is 2022 release 1 so for performing the revolve operation you must prepare a sketch and with that sketch we can uh, transform that object into a 3d object furthermore we can make that object hollow also so these are the basic operations that can be done in the revolve operation so you can have a profile that is circular you can have a profile which is rectangular or also we can have some different arbitrary shape also so first of all i am starting with the geometry so we can start with the component system or you can either start with the analysis system depending on whether you are doing the analysis or not so next step will be to start with design modeler so click on the design modeler over here so this window will open you can see x y and z x is your red y is your green and z your blue set the units before proceeding so i am here setting the units in terms of centimeter so click on any one of the plane once the plane you click on any one of the plane you will see this red green and this is blue so by observing the color itself you must able to understand whether it is x y and z accordingly we have to proceed further so for this we need to do the sketching operation in that uh, first i will try to do with the circle so let's have one circle which i have drawn right now it is in xy plane over here which you can see specify the dimensions of your circle say for example i specify this is the diameter is equal to 4 centimeter you can specify distance from center of the circle with respect to one reference line this is also very important if you are doing the further analysis and if you are having geometry which is having some reference with respect to the central axis so this is the the distance we have taken it is 15 diameter we have taken it is 4 centimeter now next thing is to go with the revolve operation we just have to click on revolve now in that case you are having geometry so just now we have created a circle so that geometry we have to select then axis so you must select the axis which corresponds to the geometry which you have prepared so accordingly i select this one over here so you cannot select this one this is the vertical line which will be considered as your axis so make it apply make it frozen so this is 360 degree if you want uh, less than 360 degree so that can also be prepared if you want more than that accordingly also it can be sorry it can be less if you want less also it can be prepared so just try to generate this so this is a total 360 degree we have generated if somebody wants say for example 270 degree if doesn't want the entire geometry you can make it 180 degree also make it generate and accordingly the respective geometries can be easily prepared so if you want to do the analysis maybe the fluid flow simulation in bend so this will be a, a good quite good example to make use of the revolve operation in your geometry so in this case we have tried to do with a circular object i will just try to change the object which i have taken over here so initially we have taken as a circle so we'll just try to take a different object over here so i'm going to delete this object which we are having over here now instead of this i will try to create uh, another object say for example a rectangle instead of this i will try to create a rectangle again you need to specify the dimensions of this rectangle say for example here i say it is uh, say for example 10 then or we can take out as per our 
say for example I take this is 4 then you can take out reference from this one to this also say for example I take it this is equal to 15 over here or if you want you can take it say for example 13 over here then specify this dimension again I am specifying this is a 4 over here then from this to this one you can specify say for example I specify 2 now I try to prepare a geometry uh, the way quite similar to the one which you have done instead of having circle we are having a somewhat square portion over there and accordingly we will try to generate the same way which we have done over here earlier the profile was circle now the profile was here it is uh, we say a somewhat square portion so this is L4 the distance at one end this is 4 and this is 4 which we are having so accordingly we can just try to prepare the given geometry so let's make it generate now we will see with the the revolve operation which we are done in this case we have a square part which is been obtained over here if you want you can make it 360 degree also uh, or you can make it 270 degree also so here I make it 270 degree or if you want you can make it 360 degree also so it depends as an individual choice you can prepare your object uh, not necessarily what we have done like yes, we have tried with circle then we have tried with some uh, we can say square box uh, if you want you can take out with a triangle also or maybe some different arbitrary shapes are there so easily you can generate such with the help of this revolve operation which is available in your design modeler so go back to this one you can just check out the tree outline so what has been generated in the tree outline that you can visualize over here as a 